A question that I see quite frequently in emails, as well as in my studio when I'm working directly with students, is how do we find songs that suit our voices? And how do we know for sure when those songs are actually flattering? Well, I'm a firm believer that if we just pay really, really close attention to what our bodies are trying to tell us in terms of how things sound and feel, our voices will tell us when a song is or isn't flattering. Generally speaking, when a song is flattering, we're going to like how it sounds, or at the very least, hear potential for it. And in terms of how things feel, the song is just going to sit right in terms of registration and range. It's going to feel right. And technically speaking, the song is going to challenge but not over challenge us. And it's not going to push us beyond what we're able to do technically speaking or demand more from us than what we're able to give technically. Now, if a song is truly flattering, and if we're able to connect with it on a deeply emotional level, not only will that song not highlight our technical weaknesses and shortcomings and hinder our expressiveness, but that song will actually facilitate and enhance that expressiveness. And it will highlight our strengths, both technical and in terms of how we sound, the quality of our instruments, the natural timbre and textures and colors in our voices. Now, generally, with newer singers especially, I encourage them to try to find songs that are sung by original singers whose voices share some similar qualities, some similar vocal weight or timbre. Now, this isn't because we're trying to pigeonhole them, trying to direct them to sound like so-and-so. But what we want to do, especially initially, is try to make sure that we're not trying to ram a square peg into a round hole. If the singer, the original singer, has a voice quality that's very, very similar, similar vocal weight, then there's a very, very good chance that that song that we're wanting to sing will also suit our voices. And over time, as our technique improves and as our palette of expressiveness expands, we'll be able to sample more things from the buffet table. We'll be able to have more choices at our fingertips. When I'm considering a certain song for myself or for one of my students, I have a little checklist in mind. I, in the back of my head, I have a number of questions that I ask with regards to the suitability of that particular song for the given voice. The first thing that I look at for myself is, am I able to connect with this song on a deeply personal or emotional level? Do the lyrics move me? Do they draw out certain emotions from within me? Am I able to pour myself, my whole self, into this song? And if I can't say yes to that, then in all likelihood, I will not be completely committed to that song emotionally or expressively, and the song will just never be very flattering, even if I'm able to sing it technically perfectly. And the second set of questions that I ask myself is with regards to the melody. Is the melody interesting? Does it move? Does it have my voice moving? Is it melodic? Because I find that my voice does not do very well when it's sitting on the same pitch or within a very limited pitch range for very long. It doesn't have to have an extremely broad range. But the voice just needs to be moving, almost continuously moving. And I find this to be true of many singers. And then if I feel as though this song has some potential, if I can hear myself potentially singing this song well, then what I do is I take it for a little bit of a test drive. Now, I may not know the song all that well just yet, but here I'm really listening for, again, the potential. I'm listening for, am I able to envision myself singing this particular song? I'm not listening for the polished, performance-ready sound, because I'm just not there yet. I haven't practiced the song. I haven't worked on it enough yet to really make that kind of judgment. So I'm listening for potential. Does this song have potential? Do my current technical abilities, not what I want to be able to do technically with my voice, but do my current technical abilities help or hinder me when I'm singing this song? Does this song highlight my strengths or my weaknesses in terms of my technique? And if I do feel as though this song has some potential for me, I'll continue to drive it around a little bit. And now what I want to do is I want to listen. And I want to ask myself, you know, does this song bring out good, desirable qualities in my voice? 
Or does it highlight the qualities about my voice that I may be self-conscious about or don't really like very much? Does this song bring out all the textures and colors that I want to come out of my voice, that I want to highlight? Do I like how my voice sounds when I'm singing this song? And if I'm not 100% sure or convinced yet, I'll record myself so that I can listen back a little bit more objectively and I'll just listen again more for the potential, not for the finished, polished, performance-ready kind of sound, because I'm just not there yet. But I'm listening again for the potential. I'm listening for whether or not this seems like a good fit for my voice as my voice is right now. And if the song is a little bit of a stretch for me, stylistically or artistically, I ask myself another set of questions. I do a lot of question asking. So the first thing that I ask is, Am I technically ready to sing this song? And if not, what techniques do I need to learn to be able to pull off this song? What techniques do I need to tweak or what aspects of my technique do I need to improve to get me to the point where I can sing this song in an artistically effective and convincing manner? If I'm really, really close, technically speaking, if I feel as though I can pull this off in a reasonable time or before the performance, then I might just go for it. But if I feel as though it would be unreasonable for me to take on this particular song at this time, then I might move on and try to pick a different song. I also ask myself, if it's a song that's maybe a little bit of a stretch for me, um, artistically speaking, how much of a stretch is that going to be? Is that something that I can pull off in a convincing manner? Because if it's going to sound so unlike me, then I have to ask, you know, is this where I want to go artistically? Is this where I want to go as a vocal artist with my voice? Um, and also, if I have to alter my sound in any way in order to be able to sing this song convincingly and artistically effectively, what does that mean in terms of um, my technique? What does it mean in terms of what it's demanding of me? Am I having to falsify my timbre in a way that potentially is unhealthy for me? And I ask myself a lot of questions and don't be afraid to try some different things on for size. Sometimes we'll take a song and we'll think, oh, I couldn't possibly sing that. It's just too much of a stretch for me. But then when we try that on for size, we're pleasantly surprised. It's almost like if we were going out shopping with a friend and we go into the fitting room and we are trying things on. And while we're doing that, our friend goes off and starts searching through the racks and comes back to the fitting room with something that we would never have thought to pull off the rack for ourselves. And just to be a good sport, we take it into the fitting room with us and we try it on. And then we realize that what we thought was too far a stretch and something that would just not work for us actually works really effectively. And again, we're pleasantly surprised because that outfit, that song, is drawing out a different part of our personality, a different aspect of our personality. And it's still us. It's still genuinely who we are, but it's a different facet of who we are. So I guess the bottom line here is just experiment and explore and don't be afraid to do that. Have realistic expectations of what you're able to achieve in terms of the songs and, and the artistry based on where you are at right now, technically speaking, and understand that that's going to change over time. Again, as your technique improves, and as your palette of expressiveness expands, you are going to have a lot more options. All right, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you appreciated this content, please let me know by clicking the thumbs up button, letting me know that you liked it. And also consider subscribing to this channel so that you'll be notified every time I post new videos. Thank you so much.